Quick warning, this video is gonna be uh, different from most videos. First of all, I'm not gonna show you any magic, and second of all, uh, things are gonna get personal. Ah, uh, gosh, every time I uh, do a trick, everyone wants to know how I got started in magic and how I learned magic. Uh, and the answer to how I learned magic, uh, I can sum that up in two words. Uh, that is Michael Amar. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Michael Amar. Michael, come on out. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, use this phone, uh, and I'll just get rid of the phone, link through, then all of a sudden, just like this. If you're just starting out in magic, uh, there's a chance you don't know who this guy is, you don't know the name, so I'm just gonna tell you that this guy uh, is hands down the best magic teacher in the world. Michael Lamar is one of my all-time heroes, one of the greatest magicians who ever lived, uh, he's the reason that I know the magic that I know today. To you, Michael Amar. There you go. Like he's, like he's in the sky, floating around. <laughs> Michael, wherever you are. Michael. He's, he's Obi-Wan Kenobi floating he, behind me right now. <laughs> is, he, is he alive? If you ever got a, uh, a magic trick from me uh, and you liked my teaching style or you liked the trick, uh, credit must go back to that, uh, to Michael Amar, because everything I am as a magic teacher is all because of him. I'd say that's the case for anyone who's teaching magic nowadays. We all learned from him how to teach magic. This will kill you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do something like this. Get it? See? Ball, fire. Ball, ball. <laughs> but my favorite thing to do is to just blow like this. And it disappears. Sure. Yeah, it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> if I wanted it to disappear, it'd be as simple as that. Then the ball disappears. That's, that's See? No. <laughs> Probably the most important lesson that uh, Michael Amar taught me is that when I'm learning a trick, uh, it's not just how the trick works that's important, it's why the trick works and I could see the difference in my own performance. Uh, when I would go out and do a trick after just learning the secret, I wouldn't fool anyone with it. Uh, but when I really internalized why the trick works, why the secret is so powerful, and then I would go and do the trick for people, the reactions, it would just be night and day. Now, I don't wanna sell him short here. He is not just a great magic teacher, he is also a great magician. He has performed for presidents, he has performed at the Vatican, he has performed across the world, and that is really loud. All I do is close my hand, okay? <laughs> Nothing funny. And I push the wand through the hand and ball number one disappears. Now, you may not have known what to expect, so I'll do it again. In fact, I'll do it exactly the same way, just a little different. That's ball number two. <laughs> now, ball number three, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'll actually leave my hand open so that you see the moment that the ball disappears. All I have to do is tap. And when it disappears, it goes back to its cup. That's one, that's two, and of course, that's three. <laughs> Best cups and balls ever, right? So I really like uh, performing tricks for you in these uh, Starbucks videos that I do, because then you can judge the tricks for yourselves. I can, I don't have to say like, it's good, trust me. I can just show you the trick and say, if you like what you see, then get the trick, because you're gonna be able to do this with this. Uh, but this is a different situation. This one time, uh, this is the only time I'm gonna say this, but this one time, I'll just say to, uh, to get the Michael Amar lecture, and I'm not gonna show you why, I'm just gonna ask you to trust me on this one. Magician's honor.